Hi everyone and welcome to Johnny How To. This is going to be video part one in a series of branching videos in which I talk you through the different ways you can compile various branches of source code for Unreal Engine 4. Now, this video is only going to be about the accounts and software you need in order to build source code, meaning I'm going to take you through how you can sign up for a GitHub account, get access to Microsoft Visual Studio, and also register for an Epic Games account. From there, there's going to be separate videos based on what specifically you want, and the options for those will be, do you want to build a vanilla version of Unreal Engine 4, meaning straight from the developer Epic Games. Some of you are going to be more interested in having very particular builds like NVIDIA Gameworks that has a lot of really great technologies built in. How can you pick and choose which ones you want to have that based on? Or if you want to have a collective version of that, how do you find those collective versions and then get those ready to be compiled? And last but not least, when you download a source code version of Unreal Engine 4, those plugins that you might want those plugins you can't inject like you can in the Unreal Engine games launcher. So I'm going to talk about how you can go ahead and download those and compile those as part of your build process. There's three separate accounts you're going to want to sign up for at minimum. The first of which is a GitHub account and eventually once you're signed up this is where you're going to download the Unreal Engine source code for whatever branch of Unreal Engine you want to compile. Specifically for Unreal Engine you're going to want to use Microsoft Visual Studio 2015 Community. Microsoft makes it a little bit harder to find that but in the description for the video I will include a direct link and go ahead and just paste that into a browser and it will download the web installer for you. The last of the very basic items you will need in order to compile an Unreal Engine version is you need to go ahead and sign up for an Epic Games account and eventually you use that to link your Epic Games account and your GitHub account together. Now even though we're not at this step of the process yet, it's worth mentioning since a lot of people get stuck here and I myself did as well, that if your Epic Games account and your GitHub account are not linked and you try and follow a link or get to the spot where you think you're going to be able to download that source code, you're going to get this 404 error. Once the web installer is loaded up, you should be able to be fine with the defaults. If you want to install to a different drive, of course, you could customize that. I'm going to go and click on install and then you're going to go ahead and wait for a good while while it's downloading all the different components. While this is installing, I did want to mention that 2015 is the version of Visual Studio you want to use. I've used 2017 and 2019, and while they do work on occasion, a lot of times they will give you errors as well. So at this point, 2015 will work with all Unreal Engine source code versions all the way up to 4.2.2 and hopefully above. So this should be the only version that you need to have on your machine. And notably, if you have other versions like 2017 or 2019, you may need to uninstall those for this to work correctly when you're trying to compile the Unreal Engine source code. Once you go to launch Visual Studio for the first time, you may be prompted to create a Microsoft account. Go ahead and do that. It's completely free. And then once you do that, you should be able to arrive at this exact same splash screen I'm at myself here. Go ahead and click on sign in on unrealengine.com. And once you are logged in, we're going to go ahead and go through the process of linking our accounts. So the first step is we're going to go ahead and click on our account name here and go to personal. And once we're in here, we can go ahead and go down to connected accounts. And we want to go ahead, and you can see I already have this connected to my GitHub account, but you want to go ahead and add that account and have it connected. And once you do that and you're logged into both, you should be able to get onto GitHub and get the Unreal Engine for source code branches. All right, so that covers everything as far as prerequisites for building source code for Unreal Engine 4. Go ahead and click on screen to whatever branch you're interested in from here, and I will see you on the next Johnny How To.